Welcome back to um, Story of Indonesia or Indonesian Opinion. Problem here is uh, you see something is bothering me. I look at the Google search, I found lots of articles that question uh, why Indonesian support Russia. See what happened? Yes, the war between Russia and Ukraine is still going on. Um, the curiosity of his sites, are you on? becomes interesting for some people, or most people probably. Then I saw the headline from some uh, websites that bothered me. It seems Indonesian uh, really support Russia. I think uh, we need to put that in a test. So are we? Are we supporting Russia? Let's open from Al Jazeera. So we can see here that support shown on social media. I bet this social media is Facebook or Twitter mostly. What has been written in this Al Jazeera are a dislike of the US was harbored by some Indonesians even though they might previously have come out in protest against Russia's wars in Chechnya and its attacks on Syria. Uh, Johannes Lein, international relations uh, from Indiani. And uh, second, Moscow is making concerted efforts to portray Russia as a friend and ally for, of Islam. Uh, this statement was uh, spoken by Radipio Dharmaputra International Relation of uh, Universitas Airlangga. And the third one is favorably a strong figure. Uh, this is a statement from Ian Wilson, Politics and Securities in Murdoch, 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 Murdoch University uh, in Perth, Australia. Like, uh, we can compare Putin and Zelensky when they watch them from afar. Yes, I think the some of Indonesians still look at it from a physical figure. And according to the to IOLR, the Russian ambassador from Indonesia, for Indonesia, Lyudmila Vorobyova said, uh, indeed, the Indonesian public actively supports the special military operation led by Russia in Ukraine. And the second reason is sentiment to the US. And the third reason is also the Chechen support or Chechnya support for Russia confirmed some Indonesian acts. So we know that uh, Chechnya is a Muslim country. Maybe it's quite reasonable why Indonesian, most Indonesian support uh, Chechnya. But let's not generalize this information as all Indonesians support Russia. So, and then the third article we will, uh, we will quote in this moment is uh, by the Business Standard article said that uh, first it's pretty much the same. I mean, the favorably of a Russian because of a Russian support, a Muslim, and then the uh, what Russia have has done for our country, and then uh, Russia effort to say that uh, they are uh, supporting Muslim. But there is also information mentioned that on 24 February, President Joko Widodo called for an end to hostilities, with, while the Foreign Ministry condemned any action that violates territory and sovereignty. But let me say my opinion and what I know about the Indonesian geopolitical view. You have to know that Indonesian foreign policy is free and active based on Constitution number 37, the year 1999, uh, paragraph 3, what Indonesia meant by free and active is basically not a neutral politic. It means Indonesia is free to determine its actions 
and uh, policies regarding any international conflicts or international problems. Free means we are trying so hard to be objective. And uh, the active means, or we can say that uh, Indonesia also has to be actively involved in peace efforts. And we are not bound to one or of the major powers in the world a priority. That's why the Indonesian president called for an end to hostilities. The result in Indonesia voting in favor of both the UN General Assembly resolution condemning uh, Russian aggression and the UN High Commissioner on Human Rights decision to establish an independent commission to investigate all alleged human rights violations in the war. But the truth is, yeah, you cannot generalize this also, but uh, in my circle I never heard someone speaks to support Russia. I think mostly uh, Indonesian, they really, they will condemn any act of aggression. What I've been hearing is that uh, we are shocked about what is happening regarding the conflict between Ukraine and Russia. However, when I saw that news and how they describe, describe the reasons above, I will say that just a small amount of people, um, yes, they have the right to speak. Like people in social media, they really use their thumbs well. So, but it, I think it's not enough to generalize it as the majority of people in Indonesia. And I believe majority people in Indonesia, they don't support uh, Russia. So I cannot tell all Indonesians to shut up. I mean, they have their own opinion uh, regarding the situation between Ukraine and Russia. Let me assure you, most of Indonesians, we really against the act of aggression. We really against any kind of war. We really support any harmless effort to make the peace happen. The bottom line is, we have to stop more casualties in war. But uh, let me tell you something. We are not supporting Russia, but we cannot be dictated by the U USA also. The government uh, is trying too hard to really join the peace effort. So I think that's it. For today, to answer the question, does Indonesia support Russia in the in the conflict of Ukraine and Russia? So, this is from Indonesia. I'm out.